Hi, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I installed VMware Workstation Pro on Ubuntu 24.04 for free. Since Broadcom have taken over VMware, they've made their VMware Workstation Pro version free for personal use on Linux. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to download VMware Workstation Pro and how I installed it on my Ubuntu 24.04 workstation. So let's get going. So the first thing to do is to download the installer. And if we head over to the VMware desktop hypervisor page, we can click the download button here. So this will take us to the Broadcom site and you'll need a free Broadcom account to log in here. So if you don't have an account already, then go up to the login link here and select register to create an account for free. And once you have an account, then you can log in here. So once you've logged in, you will likely see this page. So if you click on this icon on the top bar and select VMware Cloud Foundation, and this will load another page with a list of VMware software. And we want to scroll down this list and select VMware Workstation Pro. So when the next page loads, if you click on the VMware Workstation Pro 17.0 for personal use for Linux link here, and then select the latest version. When the download page loads, there may be a checkbox here. So if there is, you must click to agree with the terms before you can download the software. If you don't see the checkbox, then you can just continue. So with the box ticked, click on the cloud icon to start the download of the software. And I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Now with the download complete, I'm going to open a terminal and run a few commands. So firstly, type cd space desktop and press enter to change directory to my desktop folder. And now type ls and press enter and I can see the installer here. So now I'm going to copy the name of the installer so I can paste it later. So now run chmod space plus x space and paste the name of the installer and press enter. And now we can run the installer by typing sudo space dot forward slash and then paste the name of the installer and press enter. And enter your password if you're prompted. Now that's complete, we need to install a couple of packages so our installation can continue. So type sudo space apt space install space build dash essential space linux dash headers dash generic and press enter. And now press Y and press enter. And with that done, we can start VMware Workstation. So click on the apps menu and notice the new VMware icons. So if we click on VMware Workstation to start the software, and as this is the first run, a couple of modules need to be compiled. So if we just click install and enter your password and this will be done for you. So now we're at the license wizard and you have to accept the license terms to use a software. So if we click accept and next on both of these to continue. So if you'd like to be prompted of new versions when you start VMware Workstation, select yes and click next. Otherwise, click no and then next. So now decide if you want to share data with VMware or not. For now, I'm choosing no and I'm clicking on next. And finally, select I want to license VMware Workstation 17 for personal use and click finish and enter your password to complete the setup. And at this point, you're ready to start creating VMs. So just click on create a new virtual machine and run through the wizard to get started. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this video was useful. Please consider subscribing if you like the content. Or leave a comment down below and let me know how you get on. And I'll see you soon.